is either a narrow opening or it's also a tactic of how a single man goes into an opening. Okay? There's going to be two individuals involved. We're going to demonstrate the main, uh, the main work here, which is done by number one, and then we're going to throw number two in. Okay? In here, as I approach, I'm already identifying my, my opening I need to work with. If I see it's narrow, I let the team know I got a narrow opening left. This way here, the team already knows, or my number two guy already knows what the dynamic of the entry is going to be for the work on the door. Okay? He's going to be prepared for it. Now, my work remains the same. Okay? I'm coming in trying to cover all angles in my muzzle weight, and then from here, I still go to work. The same angles. Okay? Until I get to my 45. I try to open up as much of this field as I can, which is up to my 45, and just a little bit more above of the foot. In this range here, you can't reach me with his fist. I can't reach him with, with my fist, but my legs will reach him. My legs will reach him, okay? Wherever it is that they go, I have the range to be able to reach him with my legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Goes down, I hook, and got my hands low because I'm not letting him see, I'm not letting him breathe, I'm keeping him locked down from here. Number two, all of the most vital targets that we have are in this area. All my most effective weapons are here. The object, the head butt, the throw, okay? All of these weapons, they're what I have control of here. Our goal is to get to the head, so I can control him, I can turn him around, he comes in, boom, oh, I get my target. All right, target the target, and stay down, okay? I've got him down from here. The question now is do I want to restrain this guy, get him in the cuffs, okay? Do I simply want to, boom, knock him out, okay? Do I need to finish him off so he can't continue, all right? The question is what's my objective? I grab all these things and something works. From here, He's either going to let go of the hand and start striking, or he's going to reach in and get into another more complicated grab. Now we're going to go to the ground. Okay? So whenever possible, as soon as he approaches and he tries to do something, I want to intercept it. That's the first principle. Okay? He comes in and grab me. I want to intercept it. I don't want to give him the opportunity to do anything. Boom. And I start attacking. I don't stop now. I start pulling the work. So he came up to grab me. I was quick enough, sharp enough. Okay? I was able to intercept. Go to work. He's up here. Grab him. Man, just to grab him. <laughs> okay? The <laughs> first thing that's gonna happen in real life, the guy's not gonna come up to you and grab you like this. Now they're coming to the back and the end right into here, okay? Or you're gonna get shoved back, okay? If he grabs me and pulls me into him, all I'm doing is sticking my head down, okay? And he's already closing that range for me. I go to work, okay? He gives me a shove back. Right away, I face myself out. My hands, grab on. My hands, I'm shooting over top. I want to feel these hands, his arms, where they are. My hands, I'm shooting over top. What am I doing now? Boom, boom. I have targets. I go to work. This is a punching bag. I don't stop. I keep on working until I have worked to the point that I'm on. I'm on. Okay? I work to the point, okay, that I can get these hands out of the way and I've got his head. All right? Grabs on. Face out, hands from on top, I'm gonna feel them. See, he's trying to go with one hand to strike me. Okay, I wanna feel that. As soon as I feel one hand disappear, I've got a void here, I feel it in right away. I don't stop, okay? Come on, hold that strike. Boom, right away, I come in. Okay, one, two, three. And I keep going to work. Okay? That was too bad, was it? <laughs> Grabs on, right away, I come up, grab, and find the space. Pulling it back, okay? If I cancel here too, bam, I'm giving my head button, all right? I strike, I strike, and I keep on striking until I'm on the road. Look, so I, I start attacking, I start attacking, okay? I create this distance. When I feel I have this distance, I'm controlling his hips again, okay? Okay? When I've got his hips controlled, he can't pick me up, okay? I'm walking onto his hips, and here now, I open up the distance. The keys are my knees are going to reach, so what am I going to use? Oh, I'm to the <laughs> I don't stop attacking until his arms let go. But chances are after the first one or two knee stretches, he's already let go to this. Okay? Real slow. One, two, I keep on attacking. 
I attack until I feel his arms loosen up. If they haven't let go yet, I won't have a distance. What else can I use from here? Boom, boom. Come in and bite if I need to. All right? Here are my shoulders and his faces. Where I can charge my shoulder into his face. And I just keep on attacking. I don't stop until he lets go. Once we're from here, now I go back into the regular routine. Control the head. I get from here, I know where his hips are because they're lined up with my head. Especially if he wants to pick me up. He's going to line up right with me. So all I do from here, I get one arm down. Move my hips out of the way. That's why you're gonna wear a coat to Alright, so from here. My face out, head butts, hooks into the groin. I simply slide my hip out of the way and I continuously start to attack. What's better than actually striking is to actually grab. Okay, because if I strike, he's going to start moving around. So I'm going to hit him in the groin or in the thigh. If I reach in, okay, I got hold of it, I just grab and I keep pushing him away. Until he starts to loosen up top over here. Boom, and then we go to work. 